I'm truly glad I can properly introduce Gungrave Gore to you guys. Let's check out the actual gameplay of Gungrave Gore. Gungrave Gore is the sequel of Gungrave series. The game contains auto-targeting system and unlimited ammo that drove people crazy in the previous version. Also, Dot Shot, that is stylish looking Death Spear where you have to charge two guns to fire. Lock on system that you can specifically target one you would like to get rid of first. Burst mode that makes you feel like you're on a dance floor. Cool looking skills can be performed that you saw in previous version by using coffin. HP system that makes grave alive during the battle and shield system that protects the HP of grave. This implemented the same as previous versions. This is a familiar setup even for those who play the game for the first time. We modernized the character control system. In the previous version, camera direction and character movement are controlled at the same time, which blocked the side of the players. So we decided to separate the character movement and camera direction following the trend of game nowadays. Because of this improvement, we placed a shooting button to the trigger. Now you'll be more comfortable playing the game. One trigger, four bullets. Please remember, although you'll be matching the shooting button if you get excited. Shooting was super cool in previous version. However, lack of skills made the game rather simple. We added various powerful melee attack to improve on that. On top of cool shooting action, strong melee action is added. Grave can perform melee combo action by using Death Horror. This is called Funeral Strike. Melee attack of Death Horror in the previous version was rather a defensive skill to push up the enemies they came near. In Gun Grave Gore, we added a strong combo attack called Funeral Strike. You can give damages to multiple enemies by swinging this large death horror coffin and you can destroy the enemies with shield which cannot be broken with gun. Very interesting, huh? Death Tornado is a skill to give damages to NPCs around you which can be performed by swinging the death horror. Death Tornado existed in previous version and just like the way it worked before, you can swing off the enemy's missiles and some special skills of enemies. Also, during the boss battle, you can reflect some of the skills of the bosses. Death Tornado is very important to get advantages in battle, so use it often and don't forget it. Funeral Strike can be upgraded to use even more powerful melee combo action finish. Finishing skills like Fatal Charger, Cannon of Doom, Wind Sweep, Death Wheel, and etc. allows players to use the right attack for the right situation. Make your own finish! Death Hook is newly added skill where Hook of Death Horror gets launched to grab enemies to you. Grabbed enemy can be used as a shield for grave. Grabbed enemies will die once the HP is all gone. Also, you can throw the grab enemies and give damages to other enemies. You can upgrade a skill like Blood Cannon, Power Smash to connect it with the Death Hook to show connected actions. This is new to the series which you couldn't see from previous versions. Other than grabbing enemies with Death Hook, you can use Death Hook to get to enemies quicker. This is called chasing. Chasing can be used to get to the enemies quicker to perform melee action or you can use it to get out of dangerous situations. Various connected action can be mixed. Getting into the middle of group of enemies and kill them all is another cool style of attack. RIP serves very important role to regenerate the shield. If an enemy gets into stun phase, you can perform RIP and if you see an enemy far away being stunned, you can use death hook to perform RIP. When you successfully perform RIP, some shield will be regenerated immediately. Enemies will get out of stun phase after a certain time, meaning RIP cannot be performed, so make sure you make use of that every time you see. By the way, RIP was named by Naito-san. 
Storm Barrage is a powerful action that Grave performs and shoots crazy amount of bullets around them. You have to get 50 beat counts to be able to use this skill. The destructive power is there and the speed of attack is there, meaning you can fill up the demolition gauge quickly. If you upgrade it, you can use various ways of Storm Barrage. However, shield will be reduced when you perform jump and dodge Storm Barrage, so use them with strategies. Time for Demolition Shot! Destroyed everything! Demolition Shots are special skills of Grave, which is the most powerful and covers the widest range. You need Demolition Points to perform Demolition Shots. And to earn Demolition Points, you have to fill up Demolition Gauge. We made it visible that the gauges get filled up when Grave attacks the enemy, so players can see that as they play the game. This way, the clear information is given that the Demolition Shot is gonna be ready soon. Each Demolition Shot has its own grade, and depending on the grade, amount of damages and how wide of range it cover can vary. More demolition points are required when you use higher graded demolition shots. Demolition shot has unique traits. It is consistent with various styles such as range type, explosive type, going straight type and shooting type. Players can pick and choose up to 4 demolition shots depending on their battle style. Once demolition shot is used in game, some HP will regenerate it. Demolition shot is very useful for getting HP back. In Gungrave Gore, character growth is implemented. In the lab, you can upgrade skills, HP, and striking power of Grave. In the previous version, demolition shots weren't unlocked as you beat stages, but in Gore, you can unlock demolition shots by purchasing them at the lab. You have to make Grave stronger to face the stronger enemies by upgrading it. It'll be fun to see how strong Grave becomes and challenge yourself to have the strongest grave alive. You need DNA to upgrade in lab. More DNA can be earned when you have higher grade in stage results. In order for you to get high grade in stage results, you need to care about stage clearing time, how many enemies are killed, and how much HP is left at the end of the stage, and how stylish you play the game. And you'll be judged by our score you earn during the battle. Try to get the highest beat count possible. That would be entertaining, right? As you play the game, stronger enemies are waiting for Grave. Play more aggressively. The more attacking oriented you play, the stronger Grave gets. Don't stop shooting. Bullet shower to enemies and increase the beat count. With the increased beat count, Use Storm Barrage for even more blood shower to enemies around you. Storm Barrage will help you to fill up the demolition gauge quickly. Give death to all the enemies who are blocking Grave with Demolition Shot. Demolition Shot will reward you with regenerated HP. No matter how many enemies are in front, you can fight them through because that is who Grave is.